Hello and welcome to this week's installment in What's on My Arty Bookshelf, my year-long project to be inspired by all the books that I have on my Arty Bookshelf. And believe me, I have a lot of books, so let's see what I did this week. So I'm still thinking about the houses in the quilt book that was my inspiration last week, and I pulled out this little book. It's a catalog for a textile art show called Marginalia, Getting Out of the House. It was by Margaret Dragu and Pam Hall, two artists from different ends of Canada. Lots of houses in the show, and I saw it at the Richmond Art Gallery, and I have to tell you, this was the first time that I ever considered textile art to be anything other than a pretty decorative object and it was really I don't use this word lightly transformational in the way that I think of textile art and I have to say I was just thrilled when I got to meet Margaret drag you and tell her how inspiring that show was for me and she's not in this photo because she was the one taking it but here we are at Moberly Arts and Cultural Center. It was the first time I'd visited there, the place that I now do a weekly social stitching group. So another one of those coincidences that come up. I paired Marginalia with this book about Banksy, who is a graffiti artist who was based in the UK and this is an older book so they've gone on to do all kinds of other projects all over the world including a an amusement park or not so amusing park called Dismaland. Maybe you've heard about the Banksy artwork that was put up for auction and immediately after it was sold it was shredded. Banksy's artwork has since expanded to other parts of the world like these pieces in Palestine along the Israeli-Palestinian separation wall. And another one of Banksy's artworks is called the Walled Off Hotel. And it's billed as the hotel with the worst view in the world, as seen in this picture here. And here are some interior shots off the Walled Off Hotel when I was staying there some years ago. And some of the sketches that I did off the artwork in our room and in the tea shop and the view from from our hotel room off the separation wall with the Israeli guard tower there looking right into our bedroom. So I think both Margaret and Banksy would approve of each other's art. So I felt like this was a good combination today. So both Banksy and Margaret Dragu use a lot of stencils in their art. So I thought that I would make myself a stencil. A friend of mine, Penelope, had a few years ago shown me how to make a two-part stencil and her example that she'd given was off the house. I'm using a piece of overhead projector acetate that conveniently comes attached to a blank sheet of paper where I could draw out my design and then I'm going to cut it out but I'm going to do this in two parts so I can use the stencil to create a two-color image. First of all, I'm going to cut out the roofs off the houses using my cutting tool here. And after I finish cutting out the roofs, you might notice that something went a little awry there. I'm not sure, quite sure how that happened, but I realized that instead of cutting out one of the roofs, I cut out the main body of one of the houses. So, well, I'm just going to go with that. And because the paper underneath is exactly the same size, and it's the same size as a photocopy piece of paper, I can use the edges to line things up. Now I'm going to cut the second part of the stencil, and it's going to be all the parts of the houses that I didn't cut in the first half. And I'm just doing a proof right now using some felt pens, which I didn't really need to make a two-part stencil to use felt pens. But this is just a quick trial to see how things go. And now I noticed another problem. I I completely forgot one of my one of my houses. So what I've done is the sheet of paper that I'm using is the same size as the size of the stencil. So I'm lining my stencil up along with the outside edges of the paper so that when I flip the stencil over, everything lines up nicely and then I'm using a different color so you can see how that two color thing works. This is my my practice piece. So you can imagine if I got out printing ink or, or paint that this would allow me to quite easily without having to fiddle around create a two color stenciled 
design and that's my plan i will be i will be using my stencil later and now because i've done this proof one of the roofs i think it's a little bit small so i can now make it bigger because i used marker i don't have to go wash my stencil out as i would have had if i'd gone straight to ink or something like that and i'm going to make a little a few little adjustments here and then i will print these other bits onto my proof there as well after I make the adjustments that I want there and see how it looks. Yeah, I'm thinking about houses as symbols and this, this shape, sort of the rectangle with the triangle on top of it is almost a universal shape for a house. And not all houses look exactly like this, but this is definitely a recognizable universal symbol for a house. And so that's it for the stenciling part. And now the next part, I'm going to write some words. So inspired by Margaret and Pam's title for their show, I'm writing the words, get out of the house. And now, <laughs> now I'm just gonna pause there for a minute because I just realized something else. One of the installations in the Banksy Hotel, in the walled off hotel, was a telephone on the wall that was ringing continually. It was just ringing all the time. And if you picked up the phone, there was a recorded message telling you that you had five minutes to get out of the house before the missiles were dropped on your house. And it wasn't a joke. Apparently, this was something that happened in Palestine. Well, yeah, that took an unexpectedly dark turn there. It was not something that I anticipated. Words can have more than one meaning. And now I'm going to, to add this piece to my book here. So I've cut it up and it's fit in and I'm thinking about the subtext. And I've pulled out my book here that I've been cutting words from and there you go. There is my finished piece of art with the subtext on it. So what have I said here? Get a license to negotiate, to knit. Ignore my simple directions to get out of your dream. Write and doodle all over the real fake house. You can find whatever meaning you like in those, in those phrases there. Anyway, that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.